Today I'm excited to share a sloth craft with you today. So you're going to need a couple of things to do this activity. You're going to want to have printed out the sloth body. It's two pages. We attached it for you. So you're going to have one page that has a head on it. I've cut mine out already. And the other page will have his body like this, okay? So you're going to want the two pages. You're going to want some crayons to color, scissors to cut them out. If you have a paper bag at home, this would be exciting because he's going to be a puppet. And then if you have a glue stick or tape, I'm actually out of glue stick, silly enough. So I'm going to be using double-sided tape. So you're going to want your cutout page, paper bag, crayons, glue or tape, and some scissors. Okay. So I went ahead and already colored my sloth. That way that you would be able to see me put him together and not take so long. And I actually cut him out on the black lines too. So if you're not at that point, why don't you pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then I'll assemble him with you. I colored mine brown because that's what sloths usually are, right? But it's A-OK -okay if you want to make him any silly colors because he's your sloth. You get to decide if he wants to be rainbow or pink and purple and yellow and green and blue. That's your choice. So you can make him any way you want. So you're going to want to color his face. And then here, this is kind of an important thing, this is actually his tongue. You'll see when we put the puppet together that he gets to stick out his tongue at you. So you're going to want to color that a tongue color, and the rest of it is up to you. So go ahead and color, cut him out, and then when you're ready, we're going to want our glue or our tape close and our back. I'm going to go ahead and assemble him now, so if you're not ready for this step, pause the video, and then we'll assemble together, okay? All right, so you want a paper bag, and you're going to want this part facing up, the part that kind of opens. You're going to want this facing up at you. So you're going to take his head, and we're going to be attaching it to this front part. Now we're going to want him kind of down so that when his mouth opens, it's connected. Otherwise, there's going to be bag showing in the middle, which would be kind of silly. So we're going to want to put our head at the bottom of this bag, like so. Again, I'm using double-sided tape because I'm out of my glue sticks, but anything. So I'm going to put some tape on the back of his head, just like glue. I'm going to flip it over and put it on the back, and then I am going to tape or glue it right here. And let's hold it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He sticks. Now here's the fun part. We're going to lift this flap and there's a crease. This is where we want the body to go. We want his head kind of pressed up against this crease here. You see this? Okay. So again, we're going to flip him over and we're going to glue or tape whatever you got going on him down to the back. So I flipped him over to the white side. I'm putting on my tape. If you have glue, you're going to put on your glue. He stays on our bag nice and like a puppet. So again, we're opening up this flap. We have this crease. I'm going to put him right up there all the way up on the crease, and then we're going to hold him. So I'm going to lay him on my table, and I'm going to hold him. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here is kind of what he should look like. Okay, yeah, his arms are going to hang off, and that's perfect. Now here's the fun part. We get to put our hand in the bag, and we get to make him a puppet. Hi, kids! How are you today? Do you see how fun his mouth kind of looks like he's opening his mouth and he's talking to you? So this is your sloth puppet. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.